<sighs> I like to be comfortable. Fuck you. It's very important. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Hello and welcome to Castle's Corner. Coach Castle back again. Quincy. Yes. This is a big one. This is four weeks in, one, one month, month, one third of the way oh, there. Wow. Terrifying. Oh, Terrifying. Yeah. All right. So if this was a pizza, a third would have already been eaten. Mm. I mean. Yeah, that's <laughs> not much, actually. Well, no, it depends on the size of the pizza, I suppose. All right, so anyways, guys, this month, recap, we're going to talk about everything. Cardio, weights, diet, mindfulness, breathing, how it affects your stress, the editing on videos, the editing on pictures, planning, daily schedules, setting goals, learning how to say no to people and events when you have to focus on yourself. Raising the bar, raising your own limits, understanding your limits are bullshit. Your handstand progression, your stomach vacuum progression, music performing. I just saw you oh, perform yeah. the other night at the jazz bar with your mother. It's fantastic. Um, I don't even know. Keep your learning about biomechanics now. You're learning about nutrition, supplementation, which foods to eat, why those are the foods, which foods you like eating. You're learning about goal setting, how crucial that is. Even thinking about next month, we're already thinking about next month and the month after yeah. that. You've done two mile runs with me. One was a mile and a half. You've still been increasing your cardio drastically. You're part of a new community now, yeah. my community, uh, being very supportive. Yeah, and a brickling. Your brickling community. And uh, I mean, I could I could keep going, but I'll stop. Let's. Uh, yeah. Let's, wow, that's a lot. That's a month. That that's wow. a month. Yeah. Wow. That's that's what you've done this month. It's considerable. Wow. So uh, at the start of the month, did you think all that was going to happen by the end? No. That's no. Good. I would just be overwhelmed and have a panic attack. <laughs> you tell me, you told me that I had to do all that. Well, I suppose we should start at the beginning. So um, let's take it back four weeks when we said we were going to do this. Yeah. What were your expectations then? I was going to do a workout with you every day. <laughs> or like you were going to tell me how to work out. And I said, okay, okay, that sounds good. Uh, but actually working out, doing the weightlifting, has been a minimal portion of this very whole small, thing. Very small. Yeah, it's only been like a forty-minute time commitment, at, like like at most. At most. Right now it's become that. Well, in the beginning, the first week, we were spending you know an hour and a half <laughs> yeah. on the workouts, yeah. but that's because we practice perfectly. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure you learn these things. So yeah. I would, I would, you were sick of it. I would teach you, yeah. and teach you again. And then make you teach me, yeah. and then repeat it, and then take yeah. a video. And I wasn't doing like actual weights. And then now I started going till failure. Mm -hmm. so. Well, again, it's only been four weeks, but the mm -hmm. first week, just like I told you, we practiced and learned. Mm -hmm. The second week, we second practiced week, and learned again. practiced and learned some more until you're sick of it. The yeah. third week, we figured out what your weights were going to be. Mm -hmm. This week, we solidified. Now we know for each particular muscle group on the body, mm -hmm. for each particular exercise, yeah. exactly what weight, how many sets, and how many reps we're going to yeah. do which means we know what to beat next week. Mm -hmm. Or if something goes wrong, that something went wrong. And that's due again yeah. to tracking. So how about tracking? How has tracking played a, a role in your life? Um, so I'm planning my day a lot better. Uh, I've used a couple of his planners that you can find on his website um, where you have the activities planned for that day, what you have done, what you're going to do the, the next day, that type of thing. Uh, every day I'm making three goals, putting it on a mirror, and then taking a picture. And that's one way to keep myself very accountable for three major intentions. But besides that, I also keep a to-do list, and I'm, like, with smaller aspects of things, just to feel like I'm, okay, got that out of my checklist. A boost of willpower yeah. every time you get a yeah, five-minute exactly. thing done. I got the vacuums, that was mm -hmm. five minutes, handstands, that was two minutes, you know, mm -hmm. my meal prep, that's another five yeah, minutes. Yeah, tracking also includes mm -hmm. your diet, and so I'm probably like 70% of what I consume, I, like, either take a picture of or um, tr put it in my, my fitness pal, but... The food tracking yeah. app. Yeah. And... Most of the time, I do both, but uh, I'm, I'm very proud that I was able to get that far because, oh, wow, yeah, it, it just takes a lot to be a lot more organized and intentional about what I'm going to eat every day, and uh, I, I, when you were telling me that I had to have my calories down to like 1,200, I'm like, are you okay? 
Okay. And then you said you have yours sometimes at 1800 is usually mm -hmm. what if I If I'm like what I was previously doing, I yeah. don't normally do, but cutting for a photo shoot that right, rapidly. Right, right, right. I had my calories around um, actually 1600 at the very end, which is crazy for, for somebody of my size. That's very, very, very low. Um, but the point I make with that is, listen, your body does not need what you think it needs. Yeah. Even these government recommendations of 2,000 calories a day, that's complete bullshit for most people. That, that, it's, not, it's not accurate. I mean, professional bodybuilders consuming 1,500 calories a day, do you really think you need more than that? Mm -hmm. do you, are you built like a brick shit house? Are you covered in muscles? No, you're, you're probably an average looking person, but you think you need more mm -hmm. than 2,000? Come on. And actually, to an extent, like, you can run more efficiently if you don't overload yourself mm -hmm. with calories, and especially, like, the... Think clearer? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Less not always talk. lethargic and tired yeah. from the damn carbs and sugar, making your insulin and hormones yeah. go crazy. You know, yeah. you're learning about that. This macros week. is super important. Macros? You never you never once even thought about these things, did you? No, well, actually, macros... Well, you, you probably did a little bit about those, yeah, but um, you never really considered, oh, I just need to take a little bit away, be a little bit more mindful. Yeah, and also, like... Uh, supplements and being a lot more intentional about like the nutrients I'm getting mm -hmm. and not being so like uh, fixated on getting it from like actual food because it's almost it impossible. Is. Yeah, it's it, almost impossible to get the nutrients and vitamins you need eating your only food. It's almost impossible. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. I don't. I don't actually know anyone who can. Actually. Yeah, I don't know. And if you're trying to be like in a competitive environment, not even like in bodybuilding or just... If you're trying to be a yeah. better you with yourself, competing exactly. against yourself. If you're competing against somebody, that's awesome. But if you're competing yeah. against yourself, that's even better because guess what? You're never going anywhere. You're not going to take a sick day. Mm -hmm. Your competitor's not getting a day off either. Yeah. You know, so it's perfect. And I mean, just to touch on the supplements again, so you people understand, I don't care what your diet is. I don't care what you think it is. I don't care if you're vegan, vegetarian, you're keto, you're all, it doesn't make a bit of difference to me. I don't care if you have a dietitian doing your meals. You are 100% with all certainty not getting all of the vitamins and nutrients that you need. End of story. What does that mean? For some reason, people don't like pills. I don't understand. You have to take pills. Yeah, the food that you're buying in the grocery store is not rich in vitamins and nutrients. This is why you're walking around half asleep, depleted of energy, no willpower, no discipline, because you don't have the right shit in your body, guys. This yeah. is why. Yes, you have to take pills. Yeah, you got to take quite and a few. And natural ingredients. They're not even yeah. really like pills. They're like capsules with concentrated... Mushroom pills. Yeah, yeah exactly. You've got powdered mushroom in them. Yeah. The creatine already in the body. All these mm. salt. You're taking all of these things already. Vitamin D3. Mm. The sun. Hello. These are all things that you take, you naturally produce. We're increasing the amount because your body needs considerably more yeah. than it's getting. Mm -hmm. Considerably more. But anyway, not to harp yeah. on that anymore. Let's uh, let's talk about. Um, oh goodness, I suppose. Briefly, well, just briefly, let's talk about the impact that setting daily goals has made on your life. Well, I feel a lot more accomplished, and uh, my day is a lot more structured. You were telling me this before too that like, uh, because you're always so busy, it's like two days passes by and it feels like two weeks. Yeah. Uh, so it's even though I'm more busy like the anxiety which isn't necessarily a bad thing has increased uh, it's like made me have more intention I guess I keep using that word but it's made me have more initiative mm, that's a good with doing things. initiative yeah. and uh, you're worried now now you're worried so yeah I'm, oh god I have a deadline now now I have a deadline I have yeah. to be done by now so I feel great when I have like seven things done by 12 o'clock like by noon I feel so great and then I have the rest of the day I could get more stuff done because it's more structured it's like okay this is one block of time this is one black block of time well even yeah. to, even today I mean just to make a point even today you didn't even sleep at your house today you crashed at a friend's house yeah you came straight from there to here but before noon today right now it's it's 10 o'clock something you will have yeah. done your workout yeah, your before they wake up. your first <laughs> yeah. Two, yeah your first two meals You'll have already done a podcast, you'll have done handstands, vacuums, you'll, yeah. have, you'll have done all this stuff before your friends even wake up. And yeah. you didn't even start... I know, that's a great You feeling. didn't even start the day in a normal environment, yeah. in a normal house, nothing. And you were still ready for it, and you still did your whole morning, and you're going to have done more than they'll do in their whole day. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Know, the whole, that was the whole me even them. a month ago. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, that's, that's what I am most appreciative of in, in this month is um, how I've made myself do something 
and it feels <laughs> so terrible when it's happening and I'm like having to like lift this weight <laughs> so early and just it it doesn't feel pleasant but then after it I'm like wow I really did that and ice bath yeah it, like making yourself do things that, oh ice bath that was a great example same example same yeah thing. yeah of sucked in the time showing right? my discipline <laughs> and uh, having a tough love for myself like even a, a month ago like I was just feeling so much more shitty about myself like like I wasn't really doing much. Now you're somebody you yeah. should be proud to say, I'm a great yeah. person. I'm, I'm working on myself, mm -hmm. and I'm a good person to know. Yeah. And I, I'm going to stay this way, and you don't let people change it Makes that. it a lot more productive than just, like... Because, mm -hmm. in a way, you're you're still being, like, self-critical and stuff, but it, it puts it in a good energy where it's yes. proactive. Yes. Yeah. You say, listen, this is shitty about myself, but guess what? I know I can fix it just by yeah. doing this for five minutes a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that gives you an amazing, amazing edge. Because if you know, God, I sure can't... Uh, run very well mm -hmm. damn it well five minutes a day we're not even going to leave the house yeah. we can practice our running cues in the house and after doing that for a week you will have the confidence to maybe go outside and try a short jog outside practicing your running cues and if you do that for five minutes a day for a week guess what you'll already have run 25 minutes 30 minutes that week by the end of that week maybe next week you'll try a 10 minute run and mm -hmm. guess what by the end of that month that person's going to be right where you're at with their running they're going to mm -hmm. be doing miles with their runs. And this is somebody who was overweight, couldn't do it beforehand, but just because they knew, all I have to do is practice these things in my house where nobody can see me, and then I'll look really good when I go outside, and I'm okay even if I don't look good. I just know I have to do it just five minutes a day, that's it, mm -hmm. and I will make progress. That is really, really amazing knowledge to have, yeah. and it makes you very powerful. That goes back to, well, um, also the community that I have, like, just being around people that are more proactive about their life, it's made me a lot less depressed and in like a slump of, oh, well, I mean, that person is just special, you know, that person's just talented. Mm -hmm. No, they were just like, they forced themselves to do something, they were the captain of their machine, and then they said, okay, I'm going to put myself through this and force it to adapt. Then they've gained discipline, they've gained like a, a life style we're talking about. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. this is one of those common mistakes and I used to when I was well I should say when I was much younger, I used to think, oh man, that that, that guy was born uh, very talented, yeah. you know. Very so yeah, lucky absolutely. to have born with those gifts. Yeah. And uh, I no, there's many research papers on this, but I'll just quote one that I can remember is a scientist he had he had four daughters. I mean he didn't do it for the experiment, but he had four <laughs> daughters, they were all born about the same time and he b immediately began teaching them chess. Now chess is a skill you can't you can't innately be good at chess. You have to learn how to play it. You have to learn this. You, know, you cannot innately be born with that skill. So he taught all four of his daughters how to play chess, and all four of them were literally the best in the world at grandmasters, and still are to this day by the age of ten. And they were smoking everyone in the world. Is that talent? No. It's because their father made them play chess every single day until they got amazing at it and they were 10 years old all four of them so he i mean that's just one example of proving mm -hmm. you put in the work you get the results it has nothing to do with gifts i yeah. mean we're not talking about outliers on the bell curve oh, yeah. the freaks Savants of nature we well, yeah, the freaks of nature the, yeah. those exist people but guess yeah. what they're really goddamn rare don't use it as an excuse. If you put in the work, just like Quincy, yeah. just like me and everyone else, you put in the work, you get the results. You pay what you owe, you pay your dues, you sacrifice. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. And it's also working smarter, not just like a, a crazy and don't just amount. work. Yeah, yeah, yeah work yeah. intelligently yeah. and get better and progressively work mm -hmm. more intelligently, more efficiently. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember I thought I was efficient, you know, five years ago. I was like, wow, I can, yeah. I can run this kitchen with 30 people and 10 parties. And I am so efficient. And yeah. looking back on it now, it's laughable. It's yeah. a joke. And even a year from now, <laughs> you're probably going to look at it a year from now. Yeah, in a year or five years from now, and hope God willing, I'm still alive, I'll, I'll look back on it and I'll say, wow, even five years ago, I thought I was efficient, but I mean, yeah. I know right now I'm going to be more. But it's the same thing. I understand mm -hmm. it gets progressively better over time if you just keep yeah. yourself under stress and pressure and you keep grinding, keep trying to do more. Raising the bar. Mm -hmm. And what about, that's a good point, failure. You fail a lot when you raise the bar. Yeah. When you try to increase your weight, you might fail. When you try to increase your run, you might fail. You try yeah. to increase your reading time, you might fail because all of a sudden it's scary. Now I got to read ten minutes instead of five minutes. It becomes scary. It sounds funny. Sounds silly, but it's true. No, absolutely. And it's I, very true. I I was someone, and still kind of am someone who's 
really hard on myself for failing so that I just wouldn't put myself in those situations mm -hmm. where, especially if it was about music, because there's a lot of people that are just crazy talented and I would kind of just say, oh, it's them. And yeah, I was just putting this bar so far high and it, it wasn't, it wasn't getting me anywhere. Sorry, I kind of like lost the train of thought. That's fine, don't stress about it, but it's, it's the same thing. You were, you were putting these people on a pedestal. Yeah. You were thinking, wow, they're so talented, how will I ever get to that point? And guess yeah. what? You might never get to that point. If this yeah, is, that, that's the scary that's, thing. Well, yeah. that's the thing, though. If you don't, with all of your heart, want to be a musician, if that's not what you love the most, you will not get to that point. Those people, how did they get there? By practicing empty concerts, family and friends, daily basis, practicing six, seven hours. Their landlord told them to stop playing the music. They kept playing the music. They, they made their walls soundproof so they could keep practicing. They didn't give a shit. They didn't stop. Mm -hmm. okay? You, that's not your calling, I don't think. So don't, <laughs> don't beat yourself up about it. Don't beat yourself. And if it is, guess what? You can just dig in. At any point in your life, you can choose to start digging in. If you're working one hour a day practicing music, and I'm working two hours a day practicing music, can you imagine how far ahead of you I'm going to be in skill level? I know, it's so intimidating because you're right. There, There's people like Yo-Yo Ma that every day he had to practice eight hours or more. Mm -hmm. Or more. In his room. Or more. Yeah. When, so, I was, when I was learning biomechanics, I spent literally hours and hours in my gym with one or two pound weights learning the movements, the angles, so I could have them freaking memorized. Mm -hmm. Learning the anatomy over and over, repeating mm -hmm. the names of bones and muscles over, just like nurses do over and over and over, quizzing myself, having my friends come over just to quiz me. They said, what are you doing this for? I said, because I need to know this. You know, yeah. like, they under, well, back to the community. Your friends understand it. Your friends support you. Yeah, yeah. The community has been supporting you greatly. Everybody's been cheering you on yeah. because they see how amazing you're doing. You've been helping other people in the community. You've been assisting. You've been, again, that's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Good goes with good. People who want more out of life, they gravitate together. Birds of a feather. Very, yeah. very common. You know, and you yeah. start spending time with losers, as you know, you become a loser. You start spending time with, with great people who want more out of life, you're going to become one mm -hmm. of them. I mean, I always try to spend time with people who are better than me in, in every way. It's actually pretty easy. I suck as a human in lots of areas, but uh, so do we all. <laughs> We're good in some places yeah. and we suck in some other places. So, But it, it, it's great that I have found people that all want very good for their lives and they are very supportive of okay, yeah, you need to get your cardio done? Okay, yeah, I, you can you can do that here. I'm going to do my work, and then, yeah, we can just meet up and talk about it later. And, like, I did an ice bath yet yesterday because I was inspired by watching PETA do it. And uh, because she was she was challenging herself, and I was like, wow, I, that looks fun. I want to try that. Mm -hmm. So being around that type of energy just keeps bringing people up, bringing mm -hmm. momentum. Yeah. Another good technique, if you can't surround yourself with those kind of people, like for a long time I was unable to, is you just, you find those kind of people on YouTube, mm -hmm. make YouTube playlists, and mm -hmm. then even if you're home alone, and believe me, you're home alone, you're depressed, you're upset, you don't want to work, you're, whatever horrible things are going on, you like, you put that stuff on, you get to work. And there's nobody to distract you, there's no, you can be mad, who cares, nobody's there with you, be mad, throw shit, it's fine, but keep working, mm -hmm. keep grinding, because if you don't, it ain't going to get better. It's not magically going to get better by itself. Leave your house alone for a year. Do nothing to your house. Leave it alone for a year. Does that house get better? No. Yeah. Leave your body alone for a year. Your body going to get better? You really think so? No. Leave your relationship alone for a year. Is that going to get better? No. Yeah. That's, that's what's so freaky about it. Because <laughs> at any point, if you just stop, then a lot of the momentum that you have is just like... You can't stop. You have, you'll, you'll learn that lesson in the future, not when you're with me. But in the future, when we're done, you will learn, something will happen, you will stop, mm -hmm. it will snap you, it will set you back, it will spin you around 180 degrees, and then you're going to have to figure out how to fix that, mm -hmm. how to get out of that. And I'll tell you how you do it. You swallow your goddamn pride in your ego, you start at the very, very basics, yep. and you say, I am a sucky human, i got to start with one minute, five minutes, yeah. ten minutes. Exactly. That's with learning a language, that's with learning Anything. music, it's, Anything. Oh, it's crazy. Anything. But anyways, let's um, let's talk about handstands. Mm -hmm. What's up with handstands? How we so, doing? So a month ago, when you said that, oh yeah, uh, this week we're gonna start doing handstands. Two weeks ago, it was a month ago, it was two weeks ago. It might be three weeks ago. Oh, it might be no, no, it was two weeks ago. I think. Okay, oh, I'm pretty good. So now I'm able to go in the middle of the room, and almost without fail, I uh, get my legs up. Uh, I'm 
a lot more balanced in my core, and my uh, breathing is a lot more controlled when I'm going up, because that's one of the most difficult things, staying up there. Um, well, you, well, you've also learned, and this is just to get mm -hmm. to the point, you've learned that you don't kick yourself. It's not about mm -hmm. muscling yourself into Yeah, yeah, I, I, I got the technique a lot more controlled. Smoothly, mm -hmm. you, you roll, and yeah. it goes back to levers. You mm -hmm. roll, and you balance. You don't kick and then try to fix yourself. It, mm -hmm. does, it doesn't work. I mean, that's like if, if I said, you just stand as nice and tall and as straight as you can, and I shoved you in the face. <laughs> it's not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> what if I grabbed you by the hair and slowly pulled you up? That would work, you know. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't do it to you. I wouldn't do it to you, but it's just an That's example. You know. Stand by me. There was that movie, Stand by Me. Kid sorry, grabbed sorry. his hair. Yeah, Not my time. Yeah, it's long before you. Before my time, but I still remember. It's a good movie. Um, anyways, <laughs> so let's talk about let's talk about next month. Okay. Okay. So next month coming up. Are you under any illusion? Is it going to be the same as this month, or is it going to be harder? Harder because now I, I have to keep myself more accountable. I'm gonna be doing less working out here, and uh, having making a home gym, and every day doing my workouts at home, trying to get to a failure. Uh, oh, let's, let's, let's touch on that real quick. So, um, I routinely will say this, and I routinely go over it with people, but you do not need a gym. You do not need machines, you do not need a personal trainer, you don't need barbells, you don't need any of these things. You don't need large amounts of weights. These are things that people who are completely uneducated with fitness will tell you you need. These are things that people think you need. If you understand biomechanics and how the human body works, there is no exercise that you cannot perform perfectly, and I do mean perfectly as if there is only one perfect exercise per muscle on your body, you can do all of these in the comfort of your home as long as you have a 5x5 five five empty area in your house, some bags or some sticks or some water bottles or some rocks or some buckets or some sand or some paint buckets, anything, people, anything. Quincy is going to be building a gym sometime this week, I think I'm going to do it with you. It's going to take us about two hours, at the very most two hours. We're going to go to Home Depot. We're going to buy under $50 worth of stuff at Home Depot. This is Quincy's entire 100% gym, which Quincy will be using to operate perfectly every single muscle on Quincy's body perfectly, better than you will ever get from any personal trainer, unless they're me, or and I'm serious, or any anyone. I don't care who they are. They do not know unless they understand biomechanics. And if they do, they will support me 100%. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. So moving forward, guys, we'll be making a video of the home gym being made, and then we'll be making a video of how Quincy does each and every single one of the workouts mm -hmm. in order and the days. You'll even get to follow along if you want. We'll post the workout schedule. We'll post how to build the gym how to build the, everything. You guys can see it, you can follow along. That's another big point of Quincy's transformations. Quincy's very much on board with trying to help you people just like I am. We're gonna show you how easy it is to make a gym in your house. Show you how easy these exercises are to perform. We're not reinventing the wheel. We're gonna show you it's 20 minutes a day. We're gonna show you your diet is easy. We're gonna show you all of these things so you no longer need any of these crazy people charging you crazy amounts of money, literally giving you nothing and keeping you shackled to them. Trying to get you to do this all yourself. You can do it. Yes, you can. Quincy's doing it. Just a little bit of yelling. And uh, <laughs> very soon, hopefully soon, you guys will too. Also coming up this month, you're going to be starting taking over more of the video creation because you're going to be in charge of doing your workout videos. Yeah. I'm not going to be there. You're going to be in charge of doing some cardio videos. Uh, we're going to be running... I'd like to say five miles by the end of the month. We're going to make a progression up to five miles by the end of the month. Of course, you guys stay along for the journey. Also, by the end of the month, Quincy will do a full handstand perfectly in the center of a room with no wall. Mm -hmm. Also, Quincy will be able to walk on their Ooh. hands. Not sure how far, but uh, I don't know, five, ten feet maybe. Looks fun. Mm -hmm. um, we have a Bring Sally Up challenge coming. Mm -hmm. uh, what that is, it's just, uh, just so you're aware, it's just doing push-ups uh, with a timer. So Quincy will be going up and down when the song, it's the song, says to go up and down. Uh, the total video, I, th I think it's 42 push-ups, I'm not certain. 
But I don't know how far we'll get there, but it's a fun challenge. And yeah. once again, you're only going to be practicing about one minute a day. So we're not breaking the bank here. Um, by the end of the month, I expect you to lose another 10 pounds. Yeah. Should be expected. Uh, this week, what was your weight? How much did we lose this week? Uh, this week, I actually don't think there was from last week. From last week? Okay. Yeah. So from last week, the weight hasn't dropped on the scale. But the measurements are in, and oh, the, yeah. the, this is why we do both. Yeah. So the weight may not have dropped on the scale. That is due to intestinal mass, mm -hmm. water, salt, a whole bunch of yeah. factors. So I'm not worried about it because I see that there's progress. People around me have noticed there's progress. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, well, we also know there's progress because of the measurements. Yes. Uh, the, the measurements have uh, gone down your waist, your hips. Yeah. Uh, um, your legs, I think, went down a little bit. Your arms stayed. Yeah, but especially midriff area. Oh yeah, especially your, your core yeah. area. You lost six yeah. six centimeters total. Your whole core mm -hmm. core area. So obviously that is fat going away, luckily, and um, that's why we do both. And it's also, by the way, why I test grip strength. If you test grip strength, you can be certain that the body's not digesting muscle mass. It is only digesting fat stores. Oh. Yeah, well, the body doesn't care what it pulls from, and it'll I always pull from in. Mm -hmm. So it pulls from inactive tissue. So yeah. pulling from muscle is just the same as pulling from fat. It makes no difference if it's inactive. If mm -hmm. you are activating it with high intensity, it won't touch it because it knows the body needs it. Mm -hmm. So it'll pull fat stores instead. Mm -hmm. This is why it's so crucial that we have the high intensity um, exercise. Again, it's only 20 minutes. And the cardio, you know, is important for the breathing. The afterburn effect of cardio, by the way, so everybody knows the whole afterburn effect. That's the it's negligible. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't focus on diet. Cardio needs to be done for the breathing aspect of it and for your heart training. The cardio itself, the whole afterburn, the whole hit training, and then all the extra calories burned. We're talking 50 to 100 calories. It's not a lot. Forget about all that nonsense people tell you. It's not true. Forget about the cardio machines, the treadmill, the elliptical, those numbers. They're not true. My treadmill tells me that I burn 1,000 calories every time I use it. I know that it's completely wildly inaccurate. It is not true. Okay, I probably burned 150, maybe 200. That's that's realistic. Just just so we all clear. Yeah. I don't care how much you're sweating. No, sweat is not fat crying. No, that's not real. No, no, no. Sweat is sweat. Sweat is your body attempting to cool itself. It has nothing to do and nothing to reflect with amounts of calories burned. I can sweat like a pig sitting in my chair. Does that mean I'm burning a lot of calories? No, it doesn't, guys. So, this coming month also. Morning schedule solidified. Mm -hmm. Night schedule solidified. Both at the end of the month. At the, at yeah. the, by the end of the month. By the end yeah, of the yes. month. Yes, yes. And, and that's important. Again, there's a whole month cushion of you solidifying yes. that because there will be many errors. There's going to yeah. be a lot of, I don't, that didn't work so good, that didn't yeah. work so good, let me try this, let me try that. Try it. It's going to happen with mm -hmm. both. And eventually, over time, they will solidify into this is what I like, this works best for me. Mm -hmm. And we'll keep playing with it until we find what is most comfortable for you. But the crucial thing about the night routine, you've kind of started it, but it is primarily making sure everything for the next day is ready. So the way I like to think about it is the castle of me that exists today, he doesn't exist tomorrow. That's just my friend. So I'm going to make sure everything's set up for him tomorrow so he's going to have a really good, successful day. He has everything he needs. He's got his food. He's got his schedule. Yeah. He's all taken care of. So all he needs to do, he's got a rough life. So all he's got to do is wake up and look at that schedule, and he says, oh, okay. oh I know That's what, what to do. It's fantastic. Oh, let me get my breakfast. Oh, it's right there. How fantastic. Let, let me go. You know, it, it's right there. This is awesome. You know, my clothes are already there for me. I just need to start walking. This, oh, my playlist is ready. I just got to put my headphones in. This is awesome. Mm. Time efficiency. Every minute spent planning saves you at least it's usually more like 30 minutes, but at least 10 minutes. Mm. Again, you're starting to learn that slowly, especially with your videos, with your editing with your speaking for the podcast, yeah, everything. Planning. When you take a couple minutes, just one or two minutes to plan, everything gets way better. You speak better, yeah. you... I mean, I'm not going to go with yeah, it. Everything gets better. To do it, yeah. Everything gets better, because you're very sure of yourself. You know what's going to come out of your mouth. You know mm -hmm. what you're going to do. You know the movements, you know the weight, you know everything. There's no yeah. confusion. There's no anxiety, because you know what's going to happen. No surprises. Do you like surprises? Sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah, sometimes. I'm the same way, I guess. Sometimes. Yeah. Kind of depends, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, no. No. Yeah. Pretty hard to surprise me, too. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Good job. 
Yeah, uh, I'm easily surprised. <laughs> but uh, guys, I just uh, I say let's wrap this up. Thank you all for staying tuned, Quincy. It's been a really good month. I know, yeah. and I'd like you to reflect for a moment. I know during the month you've been beating yourself up about upset everything, but now that the month is over, it's been a damn good month, wouldn't you say? Yeah, could be better, but yeah. Always been a good month. Yeah, uh, compared to me a month ago, Oof. how... Like, a day. Yeah, I was just so unmotivated, and, you know, I mean, I, I figured, okay, well, since there's no, like, already no structure in my life, I guess, like, I'll have to wait until structure comes into my life. Yeah, like I was very passive about what was going on around me. So now is a lot more intentional planning things out. Nobody's going to do it if you don't. Yeah. I mean, you were kind of a rare case where I was like, hey, let me give you a hand. But yeah. that's pretty goddamn yeah, right. Yeah. Don't expect Old Castle to just come up and say, hey, let me come help you out. That doesn't happen. You yeah. want help, you find it. You yeah. ask for it, you go look for it, and you don't stop till either you get it or you figure out how to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Ask and the door shall be opened. Quincy asked and the door opened. And now it's like a, a lot of work on my part. I'm not like passive about this. Like I constantly am mm -hmm. putting effort into... And you're always coming to me with new stuff too. Yeah. You know, always with new stuff. Let's, let's do this. How about this? And I love that. That's the way to be. I mean, again... Everyone is different. Everyone has their yeah. own unique set of cards that they're dealt with. This is your set of cards. Mm -hmm. But you all can believe me when I tell you Quincy has quite a few goddamn problems in their life. <laughs> yeah. And it's not like there are sunshine, rainbows, and clouds of happiness, okay? A lot of shit goes wrong every day. A lot of big problems Quincy's dealt with just since I've been with you. Okay? A lot of horrible things have been happening. No, I do not care. And neither should you. Quincy tells me that shit, I said, wow, that really sucks. <laughs> Let's get to work. No, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> so anyways, we've established I don't care about your excuses, your bullshit, or anybody else's, including my own. Mm -hmm. So. Why would you care about anyone else's? I mean, certainly, care why would I care about mine? I don't care about mine. Yeah. yeah. It's silly. Uh, but anyways, let, let's wrap it up. Guys, yeah. thank you all for tuning in. Um, Quincy, thank you for motivating, yeah. inspiring other people. Thank you for changing your life. Thank you for life. motivating, inspiring me and helping me out so much with education and constantly got, in, got my back. Always appreciate it. As long as you're around anyways and you're still trying, I'll be there for yeah. you. You know, that's how it is. That's how, uh, whatever you want to say, communities or mm -hmm. tribes stick together, you know. They have yeah. to. The whole world wants to Our kill team. you, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, guys, see you later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.